In this blackened landscape, along the line where Russia's invasion met Ukrainian resistance, the buildings disfigured by war far outnumber the few that stand intact. It is the same for the people here. Like Ludmilla, her children and grandchildren gone, she alone stayed behind. It seems astonishing that there is still human life here, never mind a community and a spirit that flourishes. Every day the air raid sirens sound, and yet every day volunteers ensure there is something to eat. To give food is some, something like to create guarantee this day is good, to create some kind of security. For the survival of this country, it is as important as any tank supplied by the West. It is some while since the worst of the war tore through this place. Lives ended, lives uprooted, and yet, despite all this, life has to go on. In fact, in this strange, changed world, it is the most natural act of defiance. And what could be more natural than this? Safe from the horrors outside. Now children more worried. Some children can't speak. Some children uh, don't uh, remember how to speak each other. Regular schools are closed, but at this center there is psychological help for young minds struggling with the pressures of war. Here they can play to each other, they can speak to adult people who love them, and uh, they can relax here. These are children with fading memories of life before there were missiles. Do you get scared? Mm -mm. No. Only when there are ten or more rockets, says Vlada, then my mother gets afraid and we run to the bathroom and hide there. Misha is four years old, but seems suddenly much older, says his mum. Так, я вважаю, що просто такий час, що їм приходиться швидко дорослішати. Їм приходиться розуміти ті речі, які дитина не має розуміти. Misha's father is away at the front line, in a town where the fighting is fiercest. He sees his son for just one or two days every month. You miss him? Він так само дуже переживає, він дуже боїться втратити тата. Він постійно питає, а чи не знищить тато, чи не загине тато, а як тато лікарі вилікують чи ні. In Ukraine they worry that the war has lost its capacity to shock, to stir hearts, to summon help from distant lands with troubles of their own. But no one wants an end to this torment more than the children. When the war finishes, how are you going to celebrate? John Ray, ITV News, Kharkiv.